Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record, and produce my own music. And I also film these weekly Solar Trip podcast episodes. We're talking about all things spirituality, metaphysics, the occult, and so much more. And for this video, I wanted to finish off or at least get closer to finishing off this series talking about the seven Essene mirrors because I've already done five episodes. So we are on to number six. And this episode, just like the last one, I feel like I could talk about this one forever because these, like these last few mirrors are more kind of talking about our actual experiences rather than like things reflecting who we are or reflecting what we judge. It's more about like what comes into your reality and what you can learn from it. So this sixth mirror is called the dark night of the soul. And that's kind of a common phrase as well in like the spiritual kind of community sort of thing. It's something like a process that people talk about a lot. That when I first heard it, I didn't really get what that actually meant. But I realize now it's literally talking about the challenges that we go through in our experiences, you know. I don't know if you have noticed, but when you look around at every single person in this world, obviously you can't physically look at every single person, but if you look at the majority of people around you, we all deal with some kind of hardship. Like we all go through something difficult in our lives. And obviously like the degrees at which we would class it as being difficult vary. Like what's difficult to you might seem easy to me, you know, so it is subjective. But we all go through some kind of struggle where all of us are experiencing low emotions or experiencing stress and like something difficult, you know, even though what we're actually going through can be different from each other. So the dark night of the soul is literally like, it's talking about the culmin culmination, is that the right word? Culmination of those experiences where you might hit a point where you go through something really traumatic. Like it's no longer just these little things that you get stressed out about. Like now you're actually going through something major and a huge shift and a huge traumatic experience. And oftentimes I find that those type of experiences are what help wake you up you know like for me and what I went through I know that it was a traumatic situation that then pushed me to start to question everything you know I questioned myself I questioned the world around me I I, I can't even get these words out I questioned my belief system and the belief system of everybody else that I knew around me it literally just made me like snap out of the depressed autopilot kind of sleep that I'd been in and be like, wait a minute, you know, and you start to question everything and you're like, is this really what this is? So the dark night of the soul is kind of that sort of moment. And some people won't wake up just because they've gone through some kind of horrific experience. But I do think that a lot of people are starting to, you know, because we've kind of reached the point where enough is enough and we don't want to continue on in suffering anymore, you know? So how this one kind of relates as a mirror is basically saying, you know, like when a situation comes up and you're trying to figure out what it is, like, is it something I judge? Is it something that I am? Like, what is this thing showing me? And sometimes it's not actually a reflection of who you are. It's not actually something that you're judging or something that your parents have done. Like sometimes it's not any of those things. It's just simply a lesson. It's just simply an experience that you're going through that is gonna teach you something because it's getting you to where you need to be, you know? It's not for no reason. It doesn't just happen coincidentally for like no purpose. Everything serves a purpose even when we don't understand it and even when we don't see why we need to have this experience in order to do anything you know like sometimes it can just be like why why do I have to go through this thing you know what for kind of thing like can't I just avoid it why do I need to go through this horrific thing in order to learn something like what the fuck is the point you know but all of it does serve a purpose and 
even though I do feel like certain things can be avoided by getting in tune with your home frequency, you know, by raising your vibration and doing all of these practices and tools where you can elevate your experience and you can take more of a like controlled approach towards your experience. So I do think that there's ways to like elevate it and make it better. But at the same time, what's meant for you is going to always reach you so if there's a lesson that you need to learn there's nothing you can do to stop that from happening if it's supposed to happen you know everything that is supposed to happen is going to because it's for you and it's in service of you so I don't even really see the dark night of the soul kind of experience as a negative even though it can be quite difficult and sometimes quite traumatic to go through but ultimately it serves a purpose you know so if you're going through something right now and you're trying to figure out what it's showing you, what it's there for and all of these kind of things, you can work your way through the mirrors. And if you realise that it's none of the five that I've said about before, then maybe it could be this one where it's simply just revealing a, lessons to you, a lesson to you. And oftentimes I find that lesson, like, because sometimes the that phrase and that idea sounds a little bit vague and a bit weird, like what do I need to learn? Why do I need to learn a lesson? But it can simply be about your belief system. It could be about some kind of way to make your life better. You know, these lessons are not to teach you something awful and something really hard for the sake of it. You know, it's all to help you get back to your heart center and help you realize that you are abundant. Like it's your natural birthright. It's your natural state of being. And all of these, like, all of these difficulties and the struggle and the lack mentality of feeling like you don't have enough or you don't have enough money and all of these things, like it's helping you realize that that's an illusion and that's a part of the game. So all of these experiences are really to just try and bring you back to yourself. It's not some crazy lesson that you need to learn. It's just simply like, remember who you are. Hello. <laughs> it's literally like trying to tap you on the shoulder and be like, do you remember yet? Do you realize that you're actually God in a vessel? You're actually abundant. Hello. <laughs> and when I think about it like that, I'm like, oh, yeah, the situations I went through, even though they were quite bad and like it was quite difficult I can kind of like see the humor in it now because it's like oh <laughs> you weren't remembering your worth you weren't remembering who you were so of course you got in these kind of situations you know of course you chose to be around those kind of people <laughs> it is what it is but when you like when you can see the good in it when you can see where it's trying to take you then it doesn't feel so scary and it doesn't feel so like crazy and weird, you know? But obviously when you're in it and you're going through those difficult moments, sometimes like you can't even see where it's trying to take you. You can't even, do you know what I mean? So sometimes you're not gonna be able to look on the bright side and see the positive. So I don't think that you should, or any of us should beat ourselves up for that either. It's just a case of awareness. Like that's the whole point of even having these mirrors listed out is just so you can gain awareness because once you gain awareness the fear falls away because what is fear is always of the unknown so once you start to know then the fear falls away and it feels less uncertain because you realize like you can step into your power and take control of the situation and you can consciously decide based upon like trusting your intuition and trusting what's right for you and what you need and what you want you know so it's just about realigning back with your heart to be honest and I think that's like a good thing <laughs> to be honest I do because then your experiences start to change and once you do gain that awareness, the dark night of the soul kind of experiences, they lessen and you don't end up, I feel like you don't end up going through it for as long because there's some people that could feel like their life has been absolute hell for the past 10 years. Like they could have spent 10 years going through absolute hell or even longer to be honest. And then there can be other people where they go through one year of hell or two years of hell and then it starts to get better you know and I do think that 
although sometimes we can't control that and this is not to say that like it's because the person did the work and that's why it was so much shorter like I'm not saying that obviously because there's so many factors that go into this but I do think that when you do the work you can take more of a control over it and then it will lessen and it won't be for as long you know so yes I hope this video was helpful and just made you see that like maybe you're just trying to learn a lesson right now and there's nothing wrong with that and the more that you go internally and you sit with yourself and you start to understand what this lesson actually is then the easier and sooner you'll be able to move through it you know and move on to the next lesson because they don't ever end but all of it is just bringing you back to yourself so they're not brutal lessons it's just simply bringing you back to yourself so yes I don't know if I covered everything in this video because I'm in the weirdest mood right now and I feel like my words just kind of ran away with me but I'm sure I'll make another video going further into like those kind of experiences and how to actually do the work and all of that kind of stuff which is kind of what this whole podcast is about but you know now I'm rambling so anyway I will see you in the next video and I am going to finish off this series so there's only one episode left of the series. We're nearly done. It's only taken me a year. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for listening on the podcast apps and watching on YouTube. I really appreciate you. Don't forget to check out the description box below for links to my music, social media, my phone number. You can text or WhatsApp me anytime. Like we can just chat whatever you are going through, stuff like that. And what else is in the description box? Oh, links to my merch as well. So yes, and we have new music coming very, very soon. So thank you so much for sticking by me for all of this time. And yes, I will see you in next week's episode. Bye. Oh, yeah, I think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, I think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, I think you might. I'm the thing you like in my range all white. Think he might, I'm the thing he like, pick my range, oh I